Okay, today's the, the day. We're going to go ahead and try another um, castration of one of our goats using the bird diesel tool. As I mentioned in a couple of the other videos about the tool, it is the option that we have chosen to use to castrate our goats, primarily because it is bloodless, so no risk of infection via an open wound, which would be the case with um, cutting the scrotum and pulling the testicles out, or even using the elastic bands, which then cause constriction, lack of blood supply to the scrotum and testicles until the point that they fall off and then there's still that open um, wound that's there. With this, and I probably did not explain it as well as I should have, but what you do is you take the spermatic cord, get it into the um, tool here, and then you will clamp down and hold that for approximately eight seconds. And what it does is that it damages the spermatic cord as well as the blood supply going to the testicles. So you just do one side at a time so that you are not damaging the entire scrotum. You don't want to put the entire scrotum into the tool and clamp down because then you do risk compromising the entire scrotum and doing the same thing as the um, rubber bands potentially. So then, like I said, you complete one side and then you do the same thing on the other side. In my uh, other video, when I ended up not going through with the procedure, I didn't because I really couldn't get my fingers in there and um, hold the cord. And what I've learned is that you really want to make sure and hold the cord into the jaws and when you clamp it down. There is the potential for that cord to slip and get into that gap. See if you can see that. And then the castration would not be successful. So you want to make sure it gets in there, is held in place, and not getting into that gap, resulting in having to do it again. Uh, there has been some, uh, we, we initially would have liked to have uh, had our vet come out and, and put the goat to sleep. But uh, what the vet explained to, uh, to us is that it's um, risky to put a goat to sleep because they're, they need to be uh, belching, burping, to release the gases in their stomach uh, because they're ruminants. Um, when they're asleep, they are not able to do that. And so they can get a dangerous buildup of the gases and, and cause some problems. And then as far as a local anesthetic uh, to the area, you know, apparently that's just not done. We don't have access to it. And so it's not something that we do. We just try and do it quick, get it over with, and let the goats get on their way. And uh, I have done it with three goats so far, and um, so far so good. You know, it's one of those necessary things that isn't very fun to do when you have animals. Anyways, uh, we'll get started. One of the other advantages to using this method is that the scrotum stays intact for the goat. Um, the testicles do not grow anymore. In fact, they, they um, will shrink and, be, and, and you, you'll be able to fill them in there, but basically they are um, no longer functioning. So the, the little goat gets to keep his scrotum and... Um, but you don't have to worry about the testicles continuing to grow and being functional. So that's one of the other advantages of this method. Okay, here we go.
Try and catch up there. Just wanted to say thanks for watching my video. If you liked it and want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. And over there you'll find other videos about uh, our little hobby farm, um, what's going on, what kind of projects I'm working on, work with the BX tractor, um, just little things. Uh, and I do have it set up with playlists so that you can go in by what you what you might be interested in and look at the videos related to that um, so please subscribe if you like what you see um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up like it and i would really appreciate it anyways thanks again for watching have a great day